This is a big step forward. Good job, Kyoto. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. In this channel, I, Shogo, will introduce various topics about Japan to learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture. This is your one step deeper. And today, I'm going to be talking about this topic. Great news. From September 1st, 2020, Kyoto City has started the Kyoto Partnership Oath System. This is a big step forward for the LGBT living in Kyoto. As a man born in Kyoto and a current resident, today I will introduce this new system as I explain about the laws in Japan regarding LGBT marriage. I hope this video will be helpful information for the LGBT who are willing to come to Japan in the future. And before I start, I want to clearly state that I support the marriage, equality, and freedom of all LGBT couples. I have no intentions of insulting or slandering anyone through this video. So, let's get s t a r t First, I will introduce the new Kyoto Partnership Oath System. The Kyoto Partnership Oath System started in September 1st, 2020. Kyoto City now officially approves LGBT couples, and seven couples submitted their oath on the first day. The couples who apply to the system will oath the mayor to cooperate with each other as life partners, and the mayor will hand them a certificate in exchange. What good does this system do for these couples? These are some of the merits. Number one, the certificate can be used for exclamation when needed. Probably the biggest value of all, the couple are officially approved as life partners. Many say this is greatly beneficial for their mental health, being able to say out loud that they are indeed a couple. Two, a way to prove their relationship when they rent a room or a house. One gay couple that submitted their oath on the first day answered in an interview that they had a hard time renting a room when they explained to the real estate companies that two men are going to be living in the same room. This certificate will help them to explain their relationship with confidence. Number three, the partner will be regarded as a relative when they take medical care. The person who is allowed to take medical condition exclamations at a hospital or write a surgery consent form is a relative. By applying to the oath system, the partner will be officially regarded as a relative, even if the couple are not married. However, there are a few points you have to be careful about this system. Let's take a look at these two. Number one, it loses its validity. Outside of Kyoto City. The three merits that I introduced earlier only apply s within Kyoto City. And if you move out of Kyoto, you will have to return the certificate to the mayor. Number two, it doesn't have any legal effects. Although it officially approves LGBT couples, this doesn't mean it's legally effective. You will not be able to distribute your property to your partner after your death, nor receive the insurance and support that a regular married couple can receive from the companies you work in. So, the Kyoto Partnership Oath System is a big step forward for the LGBT, but it doesn't mean it's enough. Why can't LGBT couples? Marry each other in Japan. While religion is the reason in most countries that prohibits LGBT marriage, the main reason in Japan is its constitution. In Article 24, Paragraph 1 about marriage, it is written Marriage shall be based only on the mutual consent of both sexes, and it shall be maintained through mutual cooperation with the equal rights of husband and wife as a basis. So, most editorials claim the constitution clearly states both sexes and husband and wife, which means that marriage in Japan must be between two different sexes. But of course, there are many people who disagree to this interpretation, and there is an ongoing litigation between the country and some LGBT couples that started in 2019. 
to change it. Their main assertion is that Article 14 of the Constitution also states that all Japanese are equal under the law. And not admitting the marriage of LGBT couples is an unreasonable discrimination. It has been about two years since this lawsuit started, but it seems no ideal progress is being made. The government persists on saying, Marriage of the same sex is an anticipated situation. Therefore, it is difficult for discussions to move forward. If the laws in Japan don't admit their marriage, what are the options for the LGBT couples to live together? The main options are these three. Number one, partnership systems. About 50 cities in Japan, including Kyoto City, have acquired the partnership system. However, this only covers one fourth of Japan's population. And as I introduced earlier, the system is not perfect enough. Two, adoptive marriage. Using the adoption system, the older partner of the LGBT couple can adopt the younger partner to legally become a family. However, this of course means that the relationship of the couple will be parent and child. So many people feel uncomfortable about using this system. Three, getting married and living abroad. Lastly, the couple can leave Japan and live in a country where they can officially get married. But of course, this means leaving your home country and your families and friends. And if you don't speak foreign languages, finding a job abroad will be extremely difficult. So this technically is not an option. So you can understand that many of the LGBT couples are still suffering from the insufficient laws in Japan. Lastly, I have some advice for LGBT foreigners that are willing to come to Japan in the future. Please keep these things in mind. Number one, you don't have to fear being attacked or criticized. Number two, Japanese simply do not have enough understandings towards gender minorities, so they may be afraid. Three, it's best to only tell the people you are close to to avoid any unneeded resistance. In Japan, no one will come to your face and criticize you for being a sexual minority. As I talked about in this video, most Japanese are afraid of standing out, so they usually won't state their opinions clearly. And some research done by the government says that about 80% of Japanese support the marriage of LGBT. But at the same time, please keep in mind that a big part of Japanese do have a kind of resistance. The existence of sexual minorities are very rare in Japan because most of those in Japan hide that they are. I have lived in Japan for almost all my life, but I don't have any friends or acquaintances who I know of that are LGBT. So most Japanese people don't have LGBT in their community, so they don't have enough understandings. It's not that they are against LGBT, but simply don't know how to communicate please try to make some Japanese friends. And I'm sure that once they get to know you, there will be no problems. <laughs> Lastly, today's conclusion. The Kyoto Partnership Oath System started in September 1st, 2020. Kyoto City now officially approves LGBT couples. Those who apply to this oath system will be able to use the given certificate to prove they are partners and will help them when renting rooms or taking medical care. However, this partnership system only applies within Kyoto City and it doesn't have any legal effects. The marriage of LGBT is not legally approved in Japan because of the constitution. Many are fighting towards changing the interpretations but are not making ideal progress. If the LGBT couple wants to live together, they must either apply to the partnership system to adoptive marriage or live abroad. None of these options are perfect, so many LGBT couples are still suffering. Most Japanese are supporting the marriage of gender minorities, but at the same time, do not have enough understandings. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you to deepen your understandings towards Japanese culture and society, please hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. And my goal is to achieve 
10,000 subscribers by July 2021, so your help means a lot. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.